North America is huge. The continent spans 24.7 million square kilometers, the third largest continent by area after Asia and Africa. It contains the second and fourth largest nations in the world by area, and the third and tenth largest nations by population, the USA and Mexico. Four of the ten largest islands in the world are considered part of this massive continent as well. Greenland, Baffin Island, Ellesmere Island, and Victoria Island. The fact most North Americans are unaware of, however, is that there are actually 23 entirely sovereign nations within North America. Yeah, that's right, 23 whole nations, each with their own distinct cultures and histories. This continent is so large actually that I decided I have to split this video into two parts. English-speaking North America, and Spanish and French-speaking North America, which will be coming soon. A quick please don't kill me side note that Canada will be a part of English-speaking North America, because even though French is co-official, I just had to make a simple choice for this video and most of its population speaks English, so please don't kill me. Alright, without further ado, let's learn a bit about each of the English-speaking countries of North America. Hey all you bitizens of the internet, welcome to Learn A Bit. Today we're going to dive into a series highlighting what makes each country of the world special, starting with English-speaking North America. Let me know some interesting facts I missed about your country down below. Alright, first alphabetically is the country of Antigua and Barbuda. Now Antigua and Barbuda is a Caribbean island nation made up of two major islands, Antigua and Barbuda. Surprise, surprise! Something that might come as a surprise, however, is that almost everyone lives on Antigua. Only about 1,300 people actually live on Barbuda. The highest point on Antigua, Boggy Peak, was actually briefly renamed Mount Obama to honor former U.S. President Barack Obama on his birthday in 2009. And finally, cricket, like many of the nations in the Caribbean, is Antigua and Barbuda's national sport, a holdover from British colonial times. For such a small nation, Antigua and Barbuda sure do produce a lot of famous cricket players, like Sir Vivian Richards, Richie Richardson, and Andy Roberts. Next up are the Bahamas. The Bahamas are an island nation just off the east coast of the U.S. state of Florida. Now technically, the Bahamas is not actually a Caribbean nation, as it's just outside the Caribbean Sea. The name Bahamas likely either comes from the native Taino phrase, Bahama, meaning upper middle land, or the Spanish phrase, Bajamar, meaning shallow sea. The Bahamas are a famous tourism spot known for their beaches. But a fact that most people probably don't know is that the Bahamas is actually a rather wealthy nation because of this tourism. According to the CIA World Factbook, its GDP per capita, or how much money the average person makes per year, is $32,400 making it the third highest per capita GDP in all of North America, after only the US and Canada. Speaking of money, the Bahamas is actually the only country in the world with currency featuring a marching band. The $1 bill features the NASA Police Marching Band, the only marching band on money anywhere in the world. Third is Barbados. Now Barbados is an island nation famous for rum and beaches. Its people are called either Barbadians or Bajans. Barbados is actually the producer of the oldest rum in the world, Mount Gay Rum, which dates from 1703. The island has over 1,500 rum shops scattered throughout it. Now, one fact that people might not know is that the pop star Rihanna is actually from Barbados, and she lived there until she was 16 in the capital, Bridgetown. For those viewers from the United States, Here's a fact I guarantee you didn't know. The first people of European descent to settle the US state of South Carolina were actually Barbadians. And the first governor ever of South Carolina was Barbadian as well. Next up is Belize. And Belize has the distinction of being the only English-speaking nation in Central America. However, the small population is incredibly multilingual. Fascinatingly, to this day, the tallest building in Belize is still a Mayan pyramid, Ka'ana. Interestingly enough, Belize's original capital city, Belize City, 
was destroyed by Hurricane Hattie in 1961, so the country decided to move the capital city to Belmopan. With only 12,000 residents, Belmopan is still one of the smallest capital cities in the world. O oh, Canada! The USA's large northern sister nation boasts a vast expanse of land and a great diversity of wildlife and cultures. It is the largest country in the world by area to border only one other country, the USA. Now, most people know that Canadians love hockey. It's actually Canada's official national winter sport. However, fewer people know Canada's less popular national summer sport. It's lacrosse. Poor lacrosse isn't even one of the most popular sports in Canada anymore. It is less popular in Canada than baseball and even American football. Speaking of sports, the modern baseball glove was actually invented in Canada. Nope, not the Dominican Republic. This small Caribbean nation, pronounced Dominica, is famous for its nature. The island is very clearly proud of its natural beauty too. The national flag contains Dominica's national bird, the Cicero parrot, which can only be found on Dominica. The inclusion of the beautiful purple parrot makes Dominica's flag one of only two national flags in the world to have the color purple on it. Now, what's more, Dominica's flag has far more purple than the other one, Nicaragua's flag. Seriously, just try even finding the purple on Nicaragua's flag. The island is also very geothermically active. It has a total of nine volcanoes and the second largest boiling lake in the world, appropriately named Boiling Lake. Dominica also has another fascinating natural quirk. There are 365 rivers on the small island, or a river for every day of the year. Grenada. Now this Caribbean island nation is nicknamed the Island of Spice. Grenada actually produces 40% of the world's nutmeg supply. The spice is actually so important that it is featured on the country's flag. The spice is originally from Indonesia, but was introduced by the British during the Napoleonic Wars. The island contains the Molinaire Underwater Sculpture Park, the first of its kind. It is, as the name suggests, a collection of 75 underwater sculptures created by the British artist James de Caird Taylor. Grenada is likely best known for hosting an incident during which the Cold War turned hot. Operation Urgent Fury occurred when a communist overthrow of the island's government in 1983 prompted resistance forces and the governments of seven other Caribbean nations, Jamaica, Barbados, Antigua and Barbuda, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Dominica, St. Lucia, and St. Kitts and Nevis, to ask the United States' assistance in retaking the island. The combined American-Caribbean alliance fought against the Grenadian communists and their Cuban allies, as well as advisors from the Soviet Union, North Korea, East Germany, Libya, and Bulgaria. Interestingly, to this day, the anniversary of the invasion is marked as a national holiday on October 26th, and goes by the name of Thanksgiving Day. Jamaica. The island of reggae, ska, and Bob Marley, Jamaica is truly one of the cultural and economic powerhouses of the Caribbean. Now for such a relatively small country, Jamaica produces an insane number of incredibly fast runners. Five of the ten fastest sprinters of all time have been Jamaican. Believe it or not, much of the James Bond series was also written in Jamaica. Author Ian Fleming bought a house on the island, appropriately named Goldeneye, and actually wrote 14 of the James Bond novels there. Jamaica is also famous for producing some of the rarest and most expensive coffee in the world, named Blue Mountain Coffee. St. Kitts and Nevis, one of the three so-called St. Islands in the Caribbean, and another twin island nation. So let's find out what makes it unique. It's actually the smallest country in all of North and South America. In fact, the two main islands, St. Kitts and Nevis, are only separated by a two-mile strait of ocean, fittingly named the Narrows. There's an annual challenge to swim the Narrows in the fastest time. The island nation is also the proud holder of the record of the smallest country to ever host a Cricket World Cup event, which it did in 2007. Now what you might not know is that US founding father, Alexander Hamilton, 
the inspiration for the musical Hamilton and the current occupant of the US $10 bill, was actually born in Charlestown on the island of Nevis. That's right, that forgotten spot in the Caribbean from the musical was actually Nevis. Now, St. Lucia. This small Caribbean island is the only nation in the world named after a woman, St. Lucie of Syracuse. St. Lucia is also a very accomplished nation. It boasts the most Nobel Prize laureates per capita at almost 11 Nobel Prizes per million inhabitants. Now, this is due, of course, to the fact that it has a relatively small population, around 190,000, and has had two Nobel Prize winning citizens. St. Lucia also boasts the world's only drive-in volcano, Sulphur Springs. That's right, you can literally drive right up to the edge of a volcano. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Nope, it's not a rock band. It's a Caribbean island nation comprised of its largest island, St. Vincent, and many smaller islands, the Grenadines. This country banks heavily on its natural beauty and takes conservation efforts very seriously. It actually has one of the oldest official forest preserves in the Western Hemisphere, the Kings Hill Reserve, which was founded in 1791. It also contains the Western Hemisphere's oldest botanical garden, created in 1765. St. Vincent and the Grenadines is also very proud to put their natural beauty on display. Much of the Pirates of the Caribbean film series was actually filmed here. Now just to name a few locations, scenes in the Port Royal Harbor and in the Pirate Haven Tortuga were filmed in Willilabo Bay, and the island that Jack and Elizabeth are marooned on in the second movie is one of the Tobago Keys. Speaking of Tobago, our final Caribbean island duo, this nation is truly one of a kind. Today, Trinidad and Tobago are made up of a cultural mix of African, European, and South Asian cultures. So it's no wonder that the nation has produced a large number of cultural innovations, particularly in music and dance. For one, the limbo dance actually originated here and spread worldwide after performers brought it to the United States and popularized it. Trinidadian Janelle Comision was the first black woman ever to win the Miss Universe beauty pageant in 1977. Furthermore, the island nation also boasts the largest Diwali, or the Hindu Festival of Lights, celebration in the Western Hemisphere due to the massive cultural influence of its large South Asian community. The final nation on our list is the United States of America, sometimes also referred to as the Great Melting Pot due to its diverse culture and people. One fact that even most Americans probably don't know, however, is that the United States has never had an official national language. That's right, nowhere in the Constitution or in any past national law is any official language specified. While there is no nationally official language, some languages are official at the state level. That's right, I said languages, plural. English is the official language of 32 of the 50 states, while English and Hawaiian are co-official in Hawaii. English is actually co-official with 20 other indigenous languages in Alaska, and several other states and territories of the U.S. maintain either their own official languages or special legal relationships with particular languages. Now, I really want to make a video about languages of the U.S. sometime, so let me know if that's something that you'd all want to see. Another interesting fact is that many foods people commonly think of as foreign imports are actually uniquely American. For example, items typically thought of as Mexican food in the U.S. and abroad, such as fajitas, chimichangas, chili, and even many types of burritos, like the carne asada burrito, were actually invented in the U.S. Other examples that might surprise you include spaghetti and meatballs, English muffins, spicy tuna rolls, General Tso's chicken, chop suey, the fortune cookie, and French roast coffee. All of these are uniquely American foods, albeit inspired by other types of cuisine. Now, the US famously has a fictional character named Uncle Sam, who is supposed to be a personification of the US government. But it turns out that good old Uncle Sam was actually a real guy. Samuel Wilson, AKA Uncle Sam, was a real life meat packer from Troy, New York. He became the official meat inspector for the U.S. Northern Army during the War of 1812, and soldiers would joke that the U.S. stamped on the shipments of meat that they received actually stood for Uncle Sam, 
and that he was watching over them. His name would come to be synonymous with the U.S. government, giving us the Uncle Sam character we know today. So, I hope you guys enjoyed part one of Countries of North America, and part two, the Spanish and French-speaking countries, will be coming out soon. If I missed anything cool about your country, be sure to let me know down in the comments. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. This has been Learn A Bit, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.